special collection update episode of vital vinyl vlog today we're gonna be blasting golgothan remains perverse offerings to the void sentient ruin laboratories and nuclear winter records fuck yeah if you like dead congregation incantation grave miasma yeah you're gonna fucking love this record I reviewed it a while back, and it sounds fucking gnarly on wax. I was lucky to grab a copy of this. I had the cassette version for a while, and the LP was just so expensive with shipping from Australia, and luckily, Sentient Ruin was rad enough to reissue it stateside in conspiracy with Nuclear Winter Records. This is like you know, gnarly, evil fucking death metal, and it's awesome. And this collection update comes courtesy of Sheep's Head Bay Cult. Fucking Hail Satan, fuck the world. They sent over this awesome crew neck, tons of stickers, patches, all sorts of fucking sick shit. And this nice, nice crew neck. Like, there's nothing super gnarly on it. Only have one upside down cross, but I love this logo that Stitch and Black Hand drew up. And now it matches my beanie, which is dirty from digging, but I don't give a fuck. Total support to Sheep's Head Bay Cult, Brooklyn, New York. But Transylvania Tapes and my buddy James. Fuck yeah, I left his note downstairs on my fridge, so I can't show you, but also I have a sick Sheep's Head Bay cult fucking uh, magnet as well, but we have a bunch of tapes courtesy of James at Transylvanian Recordings, not Transylvania Tapes anymore, although some of these are still labeled under Transylvania tapes and I'm going to mispronounce some of these and I haven't got around to listening to all of them yet there's I think eight eight or seven but um we'll start with one I did listen to and this is a fucking killer one I, I enjoyed it a lot and that is Colt Graves with Strange Customs Oozing Death did the artwork from Dippy Gus, who have a new record coming out on Expansion Abyss. FYI, in case you didn't know. And yeah, this was fucking sick. I really, really liked the vocals. It just was super fucking cool. Now, I haven't really listened to everything else, but I'll go over everything that I can. Fucking demons. Love it. And you have AB on drums and backup vocals and AC on guitars, bass, and vocals. Keeping it very low key. And this is some fucking San Jose, California tunes. And yeah, oozing death art. Amazing job here. It's just fucking sick. But Colt Graves, Strange Customs, four tracks of just killer fucking death metal i thought like the vocals especially were awesome nasty abomination rights that track alone i was like whoa like th this is cool it instantly it was i gravitated towards the cover art honestly and i need to check this one out i was kind of told that yo you're gonna fucking love 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 stagnetter like, the guillotine demo. I mean, it just looks fucking sick. Look at this thing. Fuck yeah. The logo, everything. And this is eight tracks, so I'm very, very stoked to check this out. Because a bunch of people told me, they were like, yo, have you heard this? And I haven't. The, the cover art is amazing. 
And this is mastered by Scott Hull from Pig Destroyer, so I'm guessing it's gonna sound pretty fucking gnarly, especially since it's a demo. And that's actually awesome seeing Scott Hull, you know, producing a demo. That's fucking sick. Hell yeah. Next up, we have Alone with Useless Existence. This just looks like something I would fucking love. Again, I haven't checked it out yet, but like, this looks like a full length and uh, eight tracks, including an intro and outro. And yeah, this looks fucking rad. I'm guessing it's some sludgy doom. I'm not entirely sure. Awesome artwork sick fucking logo I don't really know what this I'm guessing it's gonna you know either be some punishing grind or some fucking misanthropic sludge just based on the cover art but um also Greg Wilkinson recorded this bad boy at Earhammer Studios so that's always a good fucking sign Alone, useless existence. Definitely looking forward to getting all these listened to and everything. And this is Imperil, I think is how you pronounce it. And I'm pretty sure this is self-titled. Yeah. Imperil or Imperial. Emper it's E-M-P-Y-R-E-A-L. I had to actually make a little note here <laughs> of how to fucking say it. The way the layout is with the song titles is fucking cool. Like that's something, and the cover art is pretty badass as well. It looks like something from those uh, fucking scary stories to tell in the dark, like that style of illustration. Badass looking. I like the tape. Whoa, the tape cosmetics are horrifying. Look at that fucking face. That's sick. This looks like some black metal. I'm guessing it is some black metal. Oh my god, that's fucking scary. Whoa. Now this is something I'm... Oh. I'm definitely interested in this. A man devoid of hope and consciousness of being, so has to be cleansed to belong to the future. Whoa. Imperial. I should have probably listened to these before doing this, but I just figured, hey, let's do a collection update on all these. Now this I listened to on like like I've been kind of like listening to this digitally a lot because it's fucking bad ass and I'm pretty sure my band's artist did the cover art here. Let me just check real fast. Yup. Artwork by Lucas aka Rusted Wind. He did the Accursed Womb logo and all that. And this is Intrinsic ma Malevolent. I mean, ah, fuck me, come on. This is one of those band names, it's like a fucking tongue twister. Intrinsic mal Maleficent. Intrinsic Maleficent. And this is Relapse. This sounds like fucking early Cannibal Corpse and Demolition Hammer. It's fucking good. And uh, I, I know I fucking definitely mispronounced their name and I apologize. But this is so fucking sick. Again, look at Lucas's killer artwork. And you're getting some awesome fucking death metal by Intrinsic Maleficent, whatever. I-N-T-R-I-N-S-I-C-M-A-L-E-F-I-C-E-N-C-E. -I, -E -E. I apologize, but 
This recording, known as Relapse, it's fucking awesome. Three tracks of killer thrashing death metal. If you like Demolition Hammer and like Eaten Back to Life Era Cannibal Corpse, you're gonna fucking love Intrinsic Maleficent. Sorry if I butchered your name. And awesome artwork by Rusted Winds, aka Lucas. And this next one is Sat Saturno. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Saturno or Saturno. And uh, this is Menthurer. This is another one I've yet to listen to, but the artwork is fucking awesome. At first I thought that was the same cover as that new Cauldron Black Ram record, but it's definitely not. And the inside, look at that shit. This looks like some cosmic doom or something along those lines. It's all in Spanish. Saturno, so I'm guessing that's Saturn in Spanish. And uh, M-E-H-I-R. Menther. Saturno Menther. There we go. Again, I haven't listened to this one yet, but the tape is fucking made in the USA. Same tape as the Hyperdontia excreted from flesh steel and bone tape. These things are awesome. They're like super fucking nice. Like I really love the way my Hyperdontia tape sounds. And this one is Ultimate Infernal Nightscape Anno 2020. And this is Notskid. Again, I have yet to listen to this, but Notskid is definitely another one that just based on like the artwork and stuff, I was like, all right, this is gonna be cool. Fuck yeah, that reminded me of like Val, like especially with the font. Soar like crows to the netherworld. I'm guessing this is some fucking black metal. And it has to be. You got the Baphomet back there. Notskid or Notskid, which I'm guessing might mean something in a different language, but I'm not sure. And yeah, some of this art is The Temptation of St. Anthony. There's a bunch of art from like the 1500s and shit. It says like, and 1600s. That's pretty cool. So, not skied with ultimate infernal nightscape. With uh, track number one is just called Satan Worship. Impalement upon horns of goat. An ominous drowning of relentless spirits. Blood dedication to the horned lord. And unending cosmic stillness, stillness and absence of life. Fucking A. And lastly, we have Stygian Crown. And nice gold tape. I really like these cassette cosmetics. That's fucking badass. With like this skull crown thing. And I don't know. I'm guessing these guys and girls played some Doom. They're sponsored. I see that. Um, yeah, Doom upon you all. Fucking A. I'm just trying to look to see if uh, there's anything I recognize. Looks like we have some female vocals, which is always fucking fun. And cool song titles. Devour the Dead, Up From The Depths, Through Divine Right, Flame Tongue, When Old Gods Die, Trampled Into The Earth, and Two Coins For The Ferryman.
Definitely stoked to check out all these Transylvanian recordings, cassette tapes, and definitely I will work on my pronunciation skills for all you pronunciation police out there. I apologize. But, um, yeah, that's, you know, the collection update. And all these tapes are fucking sick. And they are mostly, I'm guessing, still available on Transylvania Tapes. Thank you again, James. I'll add his note into the video when I edit it. But also, thanks to the boys in Sheep's Head Bay Cult. I appreciate the package a fucking ton. And same with James at Transylvania Recordings. I'm still missing so much mail. It's ridiculous. And that's a tale for a different day. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thanks for supporting the channel as well. Hells. And I forgot, I'm sorry, we were blasting Golgothan Remains Perverse Offerings to the Void on Nuclear Winter Records and Sentient Ruin Laboratories. I love the fucking art on that side, which is continued on the actual LP. Look at that thing. Fucking gnarly. Wait, dude. Hold on one second. I, I'm sure it doesn't say. Well, art is by Nether Temple Design. And the artwork is just fucking magnificent. I really need some Golgothan Remains merchandise. But it's very hard to come by. And, you know, it's pretty expensive. But if you can get your hands on this... Trust me, where's the hype sticker? Golgotham Remains, Perverse Offerings to the Void, the monstrous 2018 debut album, finally available again on vinyl. Over a half hour of otherworldly and imposing dark death metal chaos for fans of Immolation, Dead Congregation. Yeah, you know what you're getting into with this bad boy evil fucking death metal and if that's up your alley and if you're watching this channel it definitely probably is if you haven't heard that yet it's gnarly and again thanks for watching Peace.